Now, remember when I said we should never trust the critics because they're rich, stupid, stupid people and they should not have jobs. Number 30 on the Rotten Tomatoes list. Yes, we're jumping all the way to number 30 because I was looking just through the list and I'm like, are any of these movies just don't belong here? Number 30 does not belong there. Toy Story 3 is rated 99% on Rotten Tomatoes. It is not that good. Toy Story 2 is rated number 26 and it's 100%. Okay, it's not 100%, but it's Toy Story 2 is at least like a 90s because it is a very good movie and it is the best of the Toy Story movies. Toy Story 3 was not that good. It's not above Toy Story. Toy Story 3 was a good way to end a trilogy of good movies, but it's not that good. It wasn't good enough to warrant a sequel, which it's getting. It's getting Toy Story 4. That's undeserving. Toy Story 3 didn't have a good villain. That bear was stupid. The pink fluffy bear thing. First off, he was the most obvious villain ever. No, I'm not saying Toy Story 3 was a bad movie. I'm saying it's only like a 70s at max. That movie was not that good. It is not nearly the best Toy Story. It shouldn't be within 1% of the best Toy Story. It shouldn't be above Toy Story 1, which set off the franchise. It's kind of like a disappointment. Because you can't... I didn't want Toy Story... I remember when Toy Story 3 was coming out in 2010, I was thinking, man, why are they ruining this? We had Toy Story 2. That ended nicely, kind of. Andy has all these toys. That's good enough for me. And as a kid, I enjoyed Toy Story 2, and I felt like that was a good enough ending because Andy had the toys. We don't need to see him get passed off to another kid. And then have Toy Story 4 go absolutely nowhere. But I don't care. This isn't about Toy Story 4. This is about Toy Story 3. It does not deserve a 99%. That is an undeserving 99%. It is at least 20% too high. It's a movie that Barbie and Ken... Them alone, they don't bring enough to the movie. Toy Story 3 doesn't bring enough to the franchise that to be served the number 30 spot on Rotten Tomatoes list to be a 99% fresh. So that should be lowered. That's why movie critics are crazy and stupid and you should never listen to them. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, YouTube. Unless it's about the Fantastic Four because that's rated 8% and that's a piece of shit. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, YouTube.